happy if you're happy and you know it. Waking up to the joy of the Lord, which is your strength on this Wednesday, January 4th, 2022. A lot of times in the Bible, we know in Matthew 5, people quote from this verse where Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful and blessed are the ones who are pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are the ones who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And it goes on and on talking about how we are blessed. Yes, Matthew 5, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Well, we can replace the word blessed with happy. Some people shy away from that word, but listen, you can be happy. We don't have to wait till the 12th month of the year to be merry. When you hear people say, Merry Christmas. Mm -mm. You can be blessed. You can be happy 365 days and some years, 366 days of the year. Oh, yes, you can. I don't know what you might be confronted with this coming year or maybe by the end of this week, or maybe today. But maintain the merriment, the happiness, the serenity, the joy, the peace of the Lord. And the way to do that is to call upon him. Maintain communication. Put him first. Seek him first <laughs> in his kingdom and his righteousness. And all, everything else will fall in place. That is a truth. I was reading a book about the formation of the Tuskegee Airmen and this particular veteran, J.B. Williams. And there's a family of the Williams who were from uh, Texas and they went to different areas of the country. But the son, the middle son, J.B. Williams went through the military and he received training and this was during World War II. And during the preparation of him going into flying and he had strenuous orders, but we know that they, they were experiencing segregation. This was an African-American. Well, anyway, there was a time when they wanted to, the veterans, the black soldiers wanted to be able to go to a social center, you know, to unwind, to listen to music, to enjoy themselves after a hard day's work. Well, the people on top, the commander, the lieutenant were like, no, you all can't do this because it is separate. This facility is separate. Well, it was a big to do and this had, ah, this had something to do with them speaking on their behalf. 
and they had a lawyer, the African American soldiers. And what happened was that they forced entry. You know, they they said, no, we're going to go because if we are good enough to die for this country, we should be able to go into the facility and enjoy ourselves. Well, anyway, it turned out that there were like 101 black soldiers who would not sign a document saying like, we will not go into this facility. And they were arrested, you know, they were taken and, and the Chicago Defender and the Pittsburgh Courier carried this, this story. But the point is that there was a lawyer from the NAACP who was sent to defend these soldiers, but there was one, J.B. Williams, who said, no, I will speak for myself and I will uh, uphold my dignity and I will give the words why I refuse to sign the document stating that I am in agreement with the segregating of the quarters or the social facility. For, for me, barring myself from partaking on that convenience or that luxury or that recreation. Well, anyway, they eventually prevailed and J.B. Williams eventually went to medical school and just a compelling story of courage and bravery and acumen. Well, the same thing happened, a similar thing happened many years before when Paul was brought before the governor and the, and the high priest came and this high priest, even though his name was Ananias, that is not the same Ananias who touched him and was used as a messenger. But Paul was brought before these dignitaries and these high people. And Paul had the spirit of God. This is so important for us to maintain the joy of the Lord, no matter who we are brought before. And it said in Acts 24, 10, Paul, I love this response. So when people are shaking in their boots and they're like, oh my goodness, what, what should I do? You know, I got to answer to this boss and this dignitary. Mm -mm -mm. The second part of the verse said, I do the more. This is what Paul said. I do the more cheerfully answer for myself. Listen, you might not have a lawyer or attorney. You might have to represent yourself pro se. Well, you better know that you can represent yourself more cheerfully. You could do all things through Christ because you are a warrior for Christ. Come on now. It's not you. It's not me, but it's the God in us. So if you're happy and you know it, you better shout and say amen and sing amen. If the spirit falls on you, make sure that you have, you are full of the spirit of God, then you can do great things all the rest of this year and the rest of your life through eternity. Oh yes, you can, but you have to make sure that it is you, it is you who have surrendered your life to Christ. And then you can say, it is not I, but it's Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, I move, I have my being. Yes. And it's through him only. Psalms 34, we'll be able to continue to do this. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth, in my heart, in everything. That means that you have the joy. You're able to be happy, merry, huh? It says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And you continually have the gladness and the merriment and the joy of the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we do not have to go through this life alone. Father, that even if we might not have the resources to have someone to advocate for us in the natural, you are our advocate. You are our attorney, our lawyer, our judge, our doctor, our everything. So Father, Lord, we can rest in you and know that we can be happy through this life, oh God, no matter what comes our way. So continue to use us Father, to fill us with your spirit. And Father, we'll give you the glory, the honor, and the praise as we continue to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen.